Trademark now, I think for six years, seven years, something like that. And we first met, um, we share an agent, and I think when Edimar was still maybe even in graduate school, um, I met him for coffee and had read one of his plays, Outrage, and did a reading of that. And um, immediately was drawn, was, was drawn to his intellect, um, to his language, to his ability and interest in always having um, sort of like simultaneously uh, like a deep subtext and a metaphor at play, as well as really active dialogue. Like his, you know, his, his, his dialogue can at times be uh, poetic, but it's never inactive. Um, and he really uh, leads from both the head and the heart sort of simultaneously. Um, and I find that true in all his plays. And what I really like about, you know, he's now obviously become a dear friend as well, or maybe not obviously, but he has become a dear friend. Um, but what I really like about, um, you know, our collaboration is that uh, he's also a really fast writer and he, um, you know, goes into rehearsal process already with a script that is, you know, very complete. Um, and then he just continues to work and work and work and very much in tandem of what, of what, um, of what we talk about, in tandem with what the actors are working on. I mean, he's a very sort of open, open collaborator, which is, I think, at times for me kind of surprising because his plays feel so constructed. I love going into work with him um, and just sort of, I feel that my heart always opens a little bit more when I'm working on an Edomar Moses play. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to be working on completeness. Um, I mean, it, it definitely feels like a continuation of the Edomar Moses project and maybe the Edomar Moses Pam McKinnon project. And what was really exciting to me, I've uh, oddly, um, I've only ever worked on his plays um, that have been all male. I've, uh, Bach at Leipzig was seven men, um, the four of us was two men. I also did a workshop of his baseball play, three men. And so when I first read this play and I was like, oh, he's written some fantastic ladies, I was like, this is great, this is great. I, I think the last science class I took was probably when I was a junior in high school, so it's going way, way back. Um, had some um, statistics in college, because I actually studied economics and political science, so sort of I felt more comfortable um, with some of the, quote, jargon in the computer science world, but the molecular biology, I mean, it wasn't complicated to get up to speed, because Edomar does a good job of framing it. Um, and also, what's exciting, as I said before, is that you know, it, it, it's also clearly a metaphor about relationships, about finding yourself, um, and so that's sort of delicious. So it, it you know, so from the get-go, the science wasn't in isolation. The science felt very um, grounded in something very emotional.